We begin with news that Prime Minister Andrew Holness is defending Jamaica's vaccination program amidst concerns that the United Kingdom does not recognize the vaccination code. Speaking in Trelawney yesterday, Mr. Holness stressed that the country's vaccination program is in good standing. Anthony Log has the details. Prime Minister Andrew Holness in Trelawney, his aim to spread the word about the importance of the COVID-19 vaccine. But lately, some Jamaicans have been asking why bother given that the country's vaccine code is not recognized in the United Kingdom? Mr. Holness has sought to address the concerns. What the countries that are starting to place these requirements are saying is that they want to be certain about our vaccination process. And they want to be sure that if someone turns up at their border to say, hey, here is my vaccination card, that this card is not a fake or a fraudulent card, that they are able to verify that you actually got vaccinated. Prime Minister Holness further insists that the country's vaccination program meets the highest standards. Indeed, the complaints have been that we are way above uh, what is considered the minimum standards. So we track everyone who has taken the vaccine in the sense of we know the vial from which you got the vaccine, the batch number, the date you took the vaccine, the date you should take your second shot. So if you needed to travel and you went to the, the, the you know, you arrived into the foreign country and you presented your card, we will develop the appropriate system to ensure that there is the ability to validate that card. With uncertainty over how long it will take or whether the UK will change its stance, this assurance from Mr. Holness. I wish to reassure the country that the way in which Jamaica has gone about its vaccination program places us in good standing for this kind of validation to take place. Anthony Lugg, TVJ News. Meanwhile, a response from the Prime Minister about concerns of the hefty fines being imposed by the court for people who breach the Disaster Risk Management Act. I heard a new report yesterday. I was not able to get a full detailed report. Uh, I'm going to the court. Uh, from what I've heard, the, the courts have put out a statement to say that what has been circulated in social media is not so. Uh, I will get a report as well. Speaking at a vaccination blitz in Pembroke Hall, St. Andrew. 